Boom, that is a perfect shot. Oh, what the hell, it's spinning. What is this nonsense? Okay, I put some backspin on the ball. I don't know how that worked. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Wii Sports, aka the game that everyone with a Wii owned. This was a pack in game for the Wii, the best selling single platform video game of all time. It sold an 82 million units, which a large part of that is just the Wii was such a best seller. Um, in fact, I think this game was a huge contributor to the success of the Wii, but uh, we will get into that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, hop in the game here. Create a save file for Wii Sports. Why not? All right, a save file has been created onto the, the world of Wii. So when I actually looked this game up to play it, uh, for a brief moment, I was like, didn't we already play that? But then I was misremembering Wii Fit. So Wii Sports is really just a couple of sports games um and what are these training and we fitness who cares about being fit or training let's just hop in here um i feel like bowling is one of the most iconic ones but i guess tennis was as well um those seem like the two most famous we sports titles so let's start let's start with those so let's go with bowling first i feel like uh, i'll do better at bowling than i will at tennis because with bowling you know, you can just bowl at your own pace, but with tennis, you actually have to return shots, and that's just going to be a nightmare for me. Anyway, I've actually created a me this time. This looks nothing like me, but uh, to be honest, I found the the sort of character creation options in making me's rather lacking. I was originally going to create a me that looked just like me, but like it, I just couldn't. It was weird. I feel like all the eyes made me look like freaks, and like it didn't have the right facial structure or hairstyle. So anyway, this is me. This is Biker J, and he's going in to the bowling alley. Um, Biker J is a lefty, I guess. I mean, I'm holding the Wii mode in my left hand. So what does that tell you? So we're just gonna go ahead and set myself up. Oh, every time I click this, the Wiimote makes a sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Hold on, I'll try and hold it near the mic. Hear that? That sound coming from the microphone in my Wiimote. Kind of a interesting feature. I feel like a lot of game consoles are doing that now. I think my PS4 also has a mic in the, the controller and occasionally games make use of it. Um, anyway, play with this me, okay. Are you using a Wiimote jacket? Please make sure there are no people or objects around. So one thing that uh, I do remember when the Wii came out and people were playing their Wii sports games, there's a lot of videos online of people bowling and like literally throwing their Wiimote into the, into the TV screen that they're playing on and destroying their TV. People like smacking people when they're playing tennis and stuff. Uh, it's funny because like for all the sort of noise uh, Wii fans made about how it's like a very physical sports activity and it's more physical than a normal video game, it does also cause some physical damage to people and objects, so that's kind of funny anyway. I think Nintendo even had to release a stronger wrist uh, attachment. There's like a little wristband that goes on your wrist that you're supposed to tighten that nobody tightens. Nobody puts on the stupid wristband when they play Wii games. Um, unplug your extension. Oh, I have uh, a nunchuck connected. Nobody puts on the wristband. You're kind of a wee newbie if you do. But uh, Nintendo actually had to release a stronger wristband because the wristbands were snapping and causing damage around. All right, hold the Wiimote securely in your hand. Press A and B. All right, we got it. All right, now this is me bowling. Um, all right, raise the Wiimote and hold B. Okay, now what? I let go of B. Swing your arm while holding B down and release the ball to roll. Okay. I might actually have to stand up for this. The motion that they're making, I don't know. Oh, God, I think I threw the ball behind me. Okay, hold on. I am going to have to stand up for this. So I had to do this when I played Wii Fit 2. Boom! That is a perfect shot. Oh, what the hell? It's spinning! What is this nonsense? Okay, I put some backspin on the ball. I don't know how that worked. Um, somehow, damn it. Did you see that? That was like the straightest ball ever until it got near the pins. All right, let's do this. Oh God, I'm hitting my mic cord. No, with the spin again. Okay, we gotta, we gotta figure out why I'm doing that. Okay, well, you know what? Five pins for your first frame of bowling isn't bad. It's nowhere near good. 
but we're gonna take it as not very bad. Okay, here we go, this is it. Boom! Yeah! Whoa, what the spin again? Okay, you know what? Maybe just the way I'm holding the Wii mode or something like that is adding spin. So I'm just gonna try and compensate here a little bit. This is what we're doing. Boom! Oh, that, did you see that? That was so close. So close to a spare. All right, we're just gonna have to compensate for the fact that we know that I spin the ball. Because I don't know how I'm doing it, but I don't seem to be able to stop it. Boom! Almost a strike right there. Now, the fun thing about playing Wii Sports by yourself is you basically never have to give up a second turn. Let's see how this goes. Boom! Oh, I threw the ball that time. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Like, when you're bowling with real people, everyone's got to wait their turn. It's kind of a, you know, kind of annoying. But when you're playing video games by yourself, you don't have to wait for anyone else's turn. I mean, I guess you could go to a bowling alley and bowl by yourself. Oh, boom! Nice strike! See, I'm... Soak it in now, guys. Soak it in now, because once I get to tennis, things are going downhill quite a bit. So anyway, I think uh, Wii Sports here was a big contributor to why the Wii was a success overall. I mean, it was a conscious decision by Nintendo when they made the Wii Sports, the pack and title, to try and reach more casual gamers. Um, because like, oh god, the spin, the spin. Like, don't get me wrong, I 100% would have actually preferred some kind of Mario title to be a pack and title for the Wii. But what Nintendo was trying to do was to, whoops, was to reach an audience that they don't normally reach. They were trying to reach sort of like casual gamers, like parents and grandparents and stuff. Um, I think like they have literally said like women and the elderly are who they were trying to draw into gaming. And honestly, it worked. It worked. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice spare. Um, you know, the Wii was the best-selling console of its generation. It outsold the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Um, and to a large part, that was because Nintendo was drawing in uh, those, those non-gamers, essentially. Um, so it was very smart on their part. I think the one failing of this approach that they took is it made them a little uh, overly... Ooh, God, a split. It made them... Actually, not really. Maybe I could get that. Um, it made them a little too confident when it came to the Wii U. So, oh, that almost, oh, did you see that? That uh, middle pin almost flew over and got the pin on the right. Um, Nintendo, I think they they kind of overestimated um, how many people bought, who bought Wiis were going to come back for the Wii U. Because here's, here's my take on the situation. Damn it, another split. Um, with the Wii... Nintendo was successful in drawing in casual gamers. They drew in people who didn't normally buy video game consoles, and those people helped propel the Wii to have phenomenal sales. But I think that masked the fact that even though the Wii was the best-selling console, outselling the PS3 and Xbox 360, I don't actually think it sold to as many gamers as the PS3 and Xbox 360. So Nintendo's looking at the Wii U sales being like, yeah, we sold to more people than any other console. Damn it with these splits. Uh, but in reality, they actually, if, if, you know, the grandmas hadn't come out to buy the system, they actually would have not sold as many games as the PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, and so Nintendo actually maybe didn't do as good with the Wii U or as the, with the Wii as they thought they did. And so I think what they thought is for the Wii U, all the sales of the Wii are going to translate, and the Wii U is going to be another smash success. And what they found is the Wii basically alienated hardcore gamers, and there weren't re really many hardcore gaming Nintendo fans left to buy the Wii U. So it's like they actually realized, uh-oh, we need to course correct here. Um, and they definitely have with the Switch. You know, like the Switch is a pretty successful system now. Like they've gone back to their roots. There is motion control in the Switch, but it's really it's downplayed uh, most of the time. So, um, oh, 115. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that a good score? I think that's reasonable. All right, let's give let's give tennis a shot. Those might be famous last words that I regret. Look at all the other me's bouncing around in the background. That's kind of fun. You know, fun fact for this game. They originally were going to include Mario characters in this game, but they decided not to 
because they did, they wanted me's in the game and they thought that would be better again for a casual audience. Um, oh, I just selected play again. Okay, I do like this kind of bowling scene where you see all the other me's playing and stuff. It is kind of fun and interesting to like see the other characters in the background. Um, if I did have other me's on my console, some of the me's in the background would be other people. So like if your friends or family uh, created me's on your console back in the day, you could actually you know see your friends and family. So that's, that's kind of fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and give tennis a shot here. I feel like I am getting a little bit out of breath by standing up and playing and you know, <laughs> out of breath. I sound like I'm so out of shape, but like normally I'm sitting down and playing, but I am being a little more physical. Um, I know that we touted itself as being like this real physical thing and good for exercise and stuff. But although I know that like the studies have been mixed, like there's one study on teens they found that teens use basically 2% more energy than another console game um, by playing the Wii. So basically, you know, they, you might as well just go play a sport if you want to get physical. But um, I know the Wii has been used in like physical therapies and stuff like that for like older folks and stuff and retirement homes. So, you know, anyway, there, there might be something to it. Uh, okay, what am I doing here, by the way? Single set game, best of three. Let's do single. Playing against Matt and Miyu. It's two J clones. What the heck? Okay, how do I do this? Boom. All right, I'm just going to move the Wiimote around wildly. All right, we scored. Scoring in uh, tennis is weird, eh? I mean, actually, when you think about scoring in bowling is weird, too. Like, bowling, it's, like, all about streaks. You know, like, if you get a spare, you know, it can, like, enhance... Oops. If you get a spare, it like increases your score from your previous frame. Like I have no idea how to actually calculate bowling scores. Tennis is weird. You know, you score in intervals of 15, except when you get 40, you know, like it seems like to be a sport, you have to have a, uh, oops. You have to have a weird scoring convention. Sports just by default. It's like, you can't just score one point and two points and three points no it has to be something like bizarre and weird and have to be like special rules oh god special rules around it so yeah i don't know i don't know why sports are like that but they are um anyway what were we talking about with the the wii before this long interlude i think we were talking about how um the wii u basically um sort of did not capture that same casual audience that the wii did and I think it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you know, like the grandparents who bought the, uh, oops, who bought the Wii, um, they played it for a couple months or whatever, probably got bored of it, and then it sat collecting dust. So it's like, are they going to buy the Wii U? Are they going to be your customers? No, they're not going to be. So, um, And uh, actually, I think even within the, the Wii uh, timeline itself, man, we lost bad. Let's try again here. Within the Wii timeline itself, I mean, they did release a sequel to this game called Wii Sports Resort, which we also will play one day, by the way. Let's do best of three. And uh, whereas the Wii Sports sold 82 million, its sequel sold 33 million. Still a lot of games, but you can see like a rapid decline in sales. And I think that 33 million is more indicative of the number of people who bought the Wii who were, like, actually, you know, like, what you could consider um, gamers. Even though, like, some of those people who bought it uh, might have been more casual fans. But it's a rough estimate. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah, we got a point. We got a point on Miu and what was the other guy's name? Terry or something? Let's take these punks down. Take them to school. Tennis school. First lesson's free. The next one will cost you 50 bucks. Yeah, I have no strategy here. In fact, I'm I'm just flailing the Wii the Wii mode around at different angles, and it doesn't seem to affect anything. So I'm not sure. I think I can base. Maybe I can sit back down for this one. Hold on. All right, like a true gamer, I'm back seated. I'm just gonna be flicking my wrist around. Forget about moving my whole arm and body. You can do this just with wrist movements. Boom. Although aiming is kind of hard. Boom. Okay, here's how we're here's how we're gonna start playing tennis. We're just gonna start flailing around wildly. Huh? Huh? 
I wish I could get like an ace where uh, I, I want to get an ace where I go to serve and they just totally miff it. And here we go. Boom. Oh, come on, Jay. We almost won this one. Actually, I should stop messing around. Okay, let's try. Let's actually try. There you go. Hit it to where they're not. Hit it to where they're not. Hit it to where they're not. I don't even know. Does the angle of the Wiimote do anything? No! Out! Oh, we got deuce. I, I got a deuce on the court, guys. All right, let's try and correct this. We can't let them win. Jesus, that was... Woof! Woof! All right, we have the advantage. See, this is what I mean. Even with tennis, this, like scoring is weird. Like... If you tie at the the 40 points, then you have to, like, win by two in a row. It's kind of like volleyball. Like, that's the same same with volleyball. Like, you have to win by two in a row. Yes! Idiot! We're, like, really bad uh, sports in this game. We have no sportsmanship. We're like, yeah, you guys suck. Nobody beats the J-clones. Oh, God, now we have to return. Okay, Go! Oh, yeah, go, go. Oh, shoot. It, like, went into the, the crowd. The Miis kind of have always reminded me of, uh, like, little play school figurines. Like, I don't know if you guys know the kind I'm talking about, but there's, like, little... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. There's little uh, play school figurines that, like, have no arms and no legs, and you put them in cars and stuff. They, they're, like, pegs, and they just go in. Man, look how angry my guy looks. He looks like he has tennis rage. Boom. Yeah, you're done. I think I actually aimed that one. I think I, maybe I'm starting to figure out that you can actually aim your shot here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Damn it. Well, it helps if you actually hit the ball. Aiming doesn't count for anything if you, if you can't hit the ball. Also, fun fact, I'm now holding my Wiimote in my right hand with the wrist guard still on my shh. On my left hand, I don't know why I'm doing this. For some reason, I feel like for tennis, I'm right-handed. For bowling, I'm left-handed. For tennis, I'm right-handed. But the wrist guard, the wrist guard's on my left hand. The remote's in my right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to take the wrist guard off. Okay, this is it. I was hoping it wouldn't come down to a third game. But it has. Damn it. Okay, I'm, I'm switching back to my left hand. Let's see if this makes a difference. It's like I'm forgetting what kind of handedness I am. So I am actually left-handed in real life. So I don't know why I was holding the Wiimote in my right hand. I don't even know how it happened. I just kind of looked down and I'm like, oh, I'm right-handed now. Um, I think that is like another weird thing about the Wii for me is I'm never quite sure what hand to hold what in. Like I, I really, it, it sounds weird, but I'm always uncomfortable with the nunchuck attachment because it's like it has a thumbstick and stuff but I'm not really sure which hand to put it in if that makes sense it's weird I mean obviously I didn't own a Wii so it's like I only ever played at friends houses so I always felt really discombobulated uh whenever boom whenever I uh sort of had to use a Wiimote because I just didn't have the practice with it. Son of a bitch. Damn it, they're catching up. No more deuces. We got to we got to end this J clone. Boom. 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 No! Oh, not only did we not get a deuce, but they have the advantage. This is bad. All right, my new strategy is not to try and aim, because I think aiming is screwing me up. No! No! Oh, God, it's in! It's in! God, get it! My new strategy is not to try and aim, but to just try and hit the ball. All right, we've got a deuce. Can I come back from this? Doubtful, but we will see. We will see. Oh, God, I, I hit my... See, look, I hit my, my microphone. The Wii! The, the curse of the Wii. Oh my god, my poor microphone. Match point. This is this is almost why I think I uh it's good I never owned a Wii. I would have caused too much physical damage. Ah, oh, we've lost. 
I'm like being too, I'm too afraid now because I don't want to like hit my my very expensive microphone with this cheap Wii mode and like destroy my physical property. We lost, but I, I cut my heart wasn't in it at the end. All right, let's get out of this game where I have to flail around with my Wii mode. Oh no, God, don't play again. Let's get out of this uh, this this game mode where I have to flail my Wii mode and find something safer, something safer and more sort of thoughtful. Let's give golf a shot. Golf is like nice and slow paced, although I might have to stand up again for this. Why not take a break? What are you saying? Also, like I, I like this 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 uh, little image here. It looks like somebody kidnapped the person who is playing Wii. Like your parents come in, they're like, "Hey, would you like some uh, some OJ?" And they open the door, and just your Wii mote's on a table. The windows open, and like the breeze is blowing. <laughs> looks like uh, you were kidnapped. So what happened to the person playing the Wii there? It's, a, it's like the beginning of a Hardy Boys mystery. The case of the missing Wii player. All right, we're gonna play a three-hole beginner game because I don't want anything too hard. I don't want to get into it so much that I start destroying my TV. In fact, I'm putting the wrist guard back on. I took it off because I was holding the Wiimote weirdly in the, the wrong hand. That baby's going back on. All right, stroke one. I guess I have to stand up for this. All right, hold the Wii remote down like a club. Swing as though you're hitting the ball with the side of the Wii remote. Okay, like this. Check the strength of your swing with the power gauge. All right, if you swing too hard, I'm just looking to see like how big of a motion I need. I think I can just use my wrist. Yeah, there you go. Try some practice swings before you hit the ball. So you can go, woo! So that's like a wrist swing right there. Um, I know with the Wii Motion Plus, which is the attachment that you need for the sequel to this game, it actually took into account bigger motions versus small wrist motions. And that was like the big thing that it did. I'm actually going to tighten this wrist thingy here. Because I know you could cheat out a lot of the, the Wii games here by just like moving your wrist. Like, these are just wrist movements that I'm doing now. Look how strong you can get it. Anyway, all right. Let's swing. So I'm holding A. Boom! Nice that was actually pretty good, all things considered. Power was right there. All right. 104 yards. Is that 104 yards to go or 104 yards? Boom! Almost. What the hell? I overshot. I was trying to go for the uh, for the di the yellow diamond. Okay, so we definitely want to kind of like undershoot it a bit. There we go. Oh, stop! 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 stop. Nice. All right, we're doing pretty good. You know, I played a lot of golf games over the course of this quest. Surprisingly. Um. Boom. Nice. And. They've all had, they, I mean, there's been variations on the controls. I feel like they all kind of follow the original NES or Mario Golf system where you, like, click a button for your power and then you click it again to, like, lock it in or whatever. Um, I feel like I am a fan of that control scheme, but this one seems okay so far. Boom! I feel like also if you listen to the background, sounds like we're in, like, the rainforest. Like, hold on, listen listen to the birds and stuff. Like, it sounds like a, like a rainforest. There's, like, monkeys and stuff in the background. Like, it does not... Oh, God. It does not sound like, uh... Like, just, just a, a normal, you know, wooded area. Like, where are we? Like, the heart of the Amazon doing some golfing? Oh, yeah. Lined up. My problem is with putting, I never know how much strength to give it. Okay. Oh, wait. It shows me. Oh! So I want to be right under the first dot. So not very much power at all. Damn it! Oh, man! Okay. I was not moving my arm that much. It must. I must have flicked my wrist. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I'm moving my arm. It's not doing anything. Look at this. I'm, I'm moving my arm. Okay. Go! There we go. I feel like that was a pity shot. Double bogey. 
I'm sure my power was too much, but I wouldn't be surprised if this game was programmed to give you a lot of, like, you know, pity. So that it's like, if you're close enough and you just move your arm, it's like, whatever, you're in. So you feel like you're a better player than you are. I mean, we are playing on beginner. Probably on expert. All those uh, safety things are taken off. All right, we see a map here. So if I hit it up to the uh, sort of golden uh, diamond, that is where I will land. Oh, and I can actually choose where to land. Okay. All right, interesting. All right, let's give this a shot. Boom! I, I, I swang twice. I swang. I swung twice. I went back and forth. I feel like I don't know about the precision of this sort of motion detection stuff here. All right, let's look at our map here. Make a strategic choice. I'm going to aim for here. Because that just seems like you're just going to land in the rough. This seems better for me. Boom! What? I moved my arm. Boom! There you go. Oh, I hit that one way too hard. And I ended up exact. Oh, there's a giant pit. Oh, my God. Hold on a second. There is a giant pit. Where is that? Where's that giant pit? Oh, my God. Look at that. Who plays golf? If you were driving a golf cart and you weren't paying attention, you could literally kill yourself. Let's see what's in there. I'm curious. That was a good shot, too. It's just a giant hole. That's crazy. We're playing near like a, a giant cavern. Okay, I did swing there. Okay, what is the point of having motion controls if they don't work? I, okay, what? Oh, whatever. <laughs> well, we're only playing three holes here. So you guys only have to suffer through. We're back near the giant hole. How far? You don't, There's not even a bottom to that thing. That is crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was a wrist swing. Seems more consistent than moving your actual arm. We are, by the way, beefing this hole real bad. We're like, forget about double bogey. We're like quintuple bogey. Okay, I'm swinging. There we go, whatever. I did better swinging the first two rounds. Maybe it's because I tightened my wrist guard. Maybe this game plays better when you don't have the wrist guard on. Feels like, uh, when you don't have the wrist guard on, it feels like, uh, you know, messing around with a girl without protection. It just, it feels like you're in danger, you know? All right. Well, we're on the green. 21 feet to the green. Can we do it? Stroke 11. This is probably like a four-stroke hole. Look, we don't even need that much power. We just need, like, one over the thingy. Oh, come on. That was a perfect amount of power. You didn't line it up with the curve, computer. All right, this one we just need a tiny bit. I'm just trying to move my wrist. It's not doing anything. There we go. Oh, my God. Can we just have a freebie? Just hit it in. Now we actually have to do this. Move my wrist. Oh, my God. All right. Are you serious? We'll keep going. We'll keep going, computer. Stroke 14. The flag is now red. It's like blood red. Showing my utter failure. There we go. I, the computer, I think, tilted it in there. Did you guys see that? We're nine over par. We've lost this. Oh, it's it's water. Oh. It wasn't a giant hole in the nowhere. That's weird. I didn't see any water in there. There were, like, no reflective effects. Maybe the Wii couldn't uh, handle the processing of it, so they turned it off during the actual gameplay or something. Or maybe our angle was weird. I... Was it just me? I didn't see any water in that hole, guys. Anyway, as per usual, we did horrible at golf. We did okay on the first hole. The second hole, we're starting to lose it. The third hole, I mean, we did take like a three putt detour to check out the giant pit. And I do feel like the motion control was not capturing the subtlety of my putting. So maybe about three or four of those are due to the putting errors. So we're not actually as we we're maybe like realistically we're maybe like eight. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna change that score to an eight. And that is what I actually got. So there you go. All right. Well, we've tried golf, we've tried bowling, we've tried tennis, we've tried the iconic ones. Uh, I guess boxing is another one. I guess baseball. Let's give baseball a shot. Let's end on boxing. 
Boxing is interesting because Nintendo has a very famous boxing game called Punch-Out, and yet they also have a boxing game here. Although, you know what, I guess, um, like, they do have Mario Golf. I don't think they have ever had a Mario Bowling game. There's Mario Tennis. Yeah, I mean, I guess all of these sports events exist as other Nintendo games somewhere. Are you using your Wii Remote Jacket? Oh, I'm not. I don't even think I own one of those. Those, like, plastic rubber things that cover the Wii Remote. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't have one of those. Do they actually do anything? I feel like the wrist guard is a little more important. Oh my god, there's lightning separating us. Jay versus Elisa. All right, Elisa, show me what you got. How to hold hold the Wiimote so that the side is facing you. Okay. And then you just swing, right? Okay. I'm not holding it the way they're recommending because screw them. I've listened to them enough and it's not working. I'm kind of holding it up like I'm praying and then I'm just flinging it forward. So that's how I'm doing it. They don't know that I'm not facing sideways. The accelerometer ain't, ain't gonna tell. So here we go, all right. Nothing but homers. Okay, or a strike. I swung too early. Let's try this again. Boom, foul ball. It's hard to judge depth in this in these games because there's no, you know, stereoscopic vision. If I was playing this in VR, it'd probably be a lot easier. Boom! That is a homer! Oh! oh I, I thought I was going to be out, actually. What do you mean a double? That was literally a home run. Who? What? Okay, oh, and now there's a guy named Nick. I guess Nick is on my team. Can he crowd the plate? Oh, God, I think I'm out. You dick! Look, he smiled! He smiled. This is actually a really interesting baseball game because you don't do anything other than uh, other than hit balls. Like, uh, there's nothing to do with running or anything. Like, it's a very simplified bo uh, baseball game. I mean, I guess it's supposed to appeal to the uh, casual crowd. I guess it also sort of signifies a limitation of these motion controls, like... In a normal baseball video game, after you have swung... Oh, look at David here. After you've swung, then you have to take control of your guy and, like, strategically run to the base and take control of other players and, like, choose who's going to steal and stuff. But when you're holding your Wiimote, like, up next to you and you're just swinging the bat, it's kind of hard... Oh, my God, we're just out. It's kind of hard to, like, quickly then you know, take the controller and use it to actually control players and stuff. So they had to, they're automating 90% of the baseball here. It's uh, kind of fascinating. Um, there's no way I'm doing that. I'm going to smash my monitor if I do that. I'm just going to flick my wrist like that. Strike. Boom! 93 miles per hour. That is a fast wrist flick. Oh my God. Catch it! Catch it! Do something! This part you just watch. You're just a passive observer. Oh my god, my players suck. I can already see how this is going to go. So we got to see me try and hit the ball. Now it's just going to be a series of them. Uh... Oh my god. He didn't even try. He didn't even try throwing it to get one of them out. All right, Luca. Here you go. There's the, the mustard or the ketchup. I don't know. What are, the, what, what are baseball terminology things? There's the steamed ham. Oh god. Somebody get it! You fools! He's like happy about it. He's like, oh, another single. Good for the other team. Look at Akira here. Let's, can we crowd him? Can we like literally bop him? I want to walk this guy like right in the face. You also have no capacity to aim. This is like the world's simplest video game. It, it's literally just about like one single motion and then the game plays itself. Man, Akira sucked. All right, here's Matt. Oh, I remember this guy from tennis. I have a vendetta against this guy. Oh my god, it's another single. I can already tell. Bases are loaded. We're screwed. Oh, Kentaro, this is the guy, this is the dick that got me out. Okay, let's try and throw like a really slow ball to him. Oh god, it backfired. There's his home run. Oh, it was foul, thank god. All right, now let's throw a really fast one. Yeah, eat it. What was his name? Kintaro or something? All right, Abby. 
She looks... She looks very naive as to how the world works. No, Abby! Yes! Alright, whoever that is. She's, like, staring at the camera, too. Alright. Let's do one more round of this. One more round of me uh, swinging the bat. And, uh, and then we'll check out boxing. And we'll go and literally take all of our pent-up aggression in this game. And we will pound some me's in the face with our fists. That, that's, how you end, that's how you end a session of Wii Sports, guys. You spend an hour or half an hour losing to these stupid me's. And then you get in there. And you just bludgeon their face with blunt force trauma. Until, like, they're all puffed up and they can't even see properly. Boom, I'm out, aren't I? You bastard. Okay, I'm gonna really, really try this time. Really trying this time. Boom! Home run! I'm out again. Alright, this game sucks. Quit! <laughs> Alright, we saw baseball. Uh, that game sucks. <laughs> Alright. I feel like a lot of these games would just be more fun with the second person. Um, again, we've been kidnapped. Second kidnapping in a row. There's somebody going around in a van abducting people who are playing Wii Sports. This is just the scene that parents are walking in on. Alright, this is the only Wii Sports game that requires an attachment. So we're going to go ahead and attach our nunchuck here. Alright, Ryan. I wish it was one of the guys who like really did me wrong. Oh yeah, look, I can move my fists too. You getting ready, Ryan? Are you getting ready? You're gonna get some punches in the face! I'm just gonna flail around wildly and hope it's enough to take this... this Round SOB one. down. Alright, he's like, alright, now time for a nice friendly match. Nice friendly match. Hold the Wiimote with your dominant hands. Okay, and then we sucker punch him in the face! Okay, here we go, yeah! He's like, the round hasn't even started, dude! And we can guard our face. And then we can sucker punch him some more. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Continue. Let's go. Let's go. What are we waiting for? Uh, jab the Wii Moat. Oh yeah, there we go. Punching him in the face. This is the kind of gameplay that I wanted. This this poor bastard. Okay. Boom. Uh, in front of your torso, and then tilt inward. There we go. All right. There's all sorts of different moves. We're just going to flail around wildly. This guy's not even fighting back. I think he's he suffered one too many punches to the head. All right, dodge punches. Okay, we can do that. It's like, I'm literally going to hit my mic again. I know it. Okay, is the round started yet? Let's do this, buddy. Just sucker punch you all day. All day. Punch you. He's like not even getting a single hit in. You're going down, buddy. You're going down. Oh, I love the face punches. Oh, I think he threw a punch at me. Oh, he threw another one. No. Unacceptable. Down you go. Two, three, we destroyed his whole pizza. He had a whole pizza full of energy, and it's gone now. He might be, he might be suffering some brain damage. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Oh, it's going down. Robert or whatever your name is. Oh, we're going to dodge. No, we're not. We're just going to keep flailing around wildly. Boom, boom. Oh, I punched him in the hip. Who does that? Who punches a dude in the hip? All right, come on. Oh, I punch him in the hip and then the gut at the same time. Get him down again. Get him down again. I'm like, my punches are like not even going near him. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, punch him in the... Oh, I punch him in the nuts. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, if he wins this fight, he's never having children, I'll tell you that. How is he getting up again, dude? You might want to stay down. You might... Friendly, friendly bit of advice. You might want to stay down. Oh, I'm just going for... I'm going for the crotch shots now, apparently. I don't know how to aim. So we have 24 seconds. Can I TKO him here? 14 seconds. No! I'm losing it! Ah, damn it. I really wanted to take this guy down in like one round. All right, going for the going for the face. Oh, he did not regenerate any health between rounds. It's good for us. I feel like even though I'm flailing around a lot more and stuff, you know, like it's 
When this game came out, I'm sure it was like an interesting experience, but I much prefer punch out to this, you know? Like, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I, I don't even know what kind of moves I'm doing. I mean, I guess people who are good at this game have everything memorized. Can you just go down now? You're, you're clearly out of energy. Okay, can this guy be dead now? Can we move on to the next guy? If he gets back up. Oh my god, again! This is like fighting a cat. It's like, how many lives does this dude have? Ugh, okay, come on. Just hit him in the face. Oh, there we go. It's funny that, like, face punches do less damage to this guy than punches, like... Oh, I think I uppercutted him. Than punches to, like, his hips and stuff. This guy has really vulnerable hips. Come on, come on, I'm flailing. Why am I not punching? I also find that... One of the reasons that maybe I enjoy this less than, like, Punch-Out is I feel like my movements are not being detected. Like, I'm making movements. This is true in golf, too. And also in tennis. I think part of why I was bad at tennis is I would make movements and they wouldn't really be registered correctly. Oh, my hands are, like, flying off my body. What is happening? I don't even have arms. What am I? I'm not human. Um, but part of the reason that I prefer a game like Punch-Out is every time I press A... I know what's gonna happen. Every time I press B, I know what's gonna happen. With these motion controls, it feels very floaty. Like, when I move my hand, I don't 100% know if anything's gonna register, how much power's gonna register, you know? With an Xbox controller, when I pull the trigger, I know precisely how far I'm pulling it and how much power I'm exerting, you know? I think that's, that's kind of my underlying problem with a lot of motion controls, is they feel less precise. I know when it comes to like aiming a, a a cursor on the screen sure maybe motion is better than uh you know dual analog stick i will grant you that like you get a lot of precision like with what i'm doing right now but with like movements where you have to move stuff around i just don't feel it i just feel way less i feel way sloppier feels less precise does not feel as fun so yeah anyway this has been we sports we've checked out all the games i don't think they're is anything left really in training i imagine we just train on the different sports what is this we fitness play with this me are you using yes um oh this is just the we fitness stuff from we fit i don't know if i oh we just get to play bowling again oh interesting okay well anyway this is sort of some kind of fitness calculator if you'd like you know what i will say you know, that study that said you only use 2% more energy. I mean, I I have, like, a very light sweat going on right now. Again, you know, I've been, like, flailing around my arms and stuff and standing up and, like, moving around. Um, maybe I'm wildly out of shape. But I do feel like there's a little more physicality to Wii Sports here than a normal console game. So it, it is a little noticeable. Um, it's definitely no... Uh, sort of replacement for playing real sports but it, it's interesting what Nintendo tried to do here I will say so um, ultimately at the end of the day I think Wii Sports is like a fun set of little mini games that you could play with your family or friends um, you know it's it's nothing like phenomenal and mind-blowing and the motion controls are kind of floaty but I think that works to the advantage of just being like a very casual fun game because here's the thing, like, oh, did I get it? Oh, nice barely. Um, if you have a game where you need really precise controls and buttons and stuff like that, that's going to appeal to us quote unquote hardcore gamers. But to the casual gaming audience, you know, like the grandmas and stuff, that is what turns them off of video games and makes them sort of not oh, interested nice in throw. playing it. Um, man, I'm way better at bowling than any other of these games. So the fact that the controls are kind of floaty and, you know, they're sort of somewhat hard to control, but at the same time, they're kind of easy because you just kind of flail around and you win. Aw, oh, damn it. I think that's kind of an advantage in the end for what Nintendo is trying to do. If you want to make a casual game, that is the way that you probably want to do it. So, yeah, ultimately, for what it was, I think Wii Sports here... It's kind of a fun, interesting game. Um, it's not the kind of game that I'm going to spend a lot of time playing solo. But if you, you know, do have like a little party situation and you want something that's light and casual that 
Uh, you know, most of your family can play. Oh, God. Uh, this, this could fit the bill. Um, and I will also say that, you know, this game is iconic. Everyone who owned a Wii owned this game. This game did help propel the Wii to be the best-selling console of its generation. So whenever we think of the game these days, I think we do have to recognize the historical significance of this game. So, uh, yeah, I, I agree with it being in the 1001 Games book. I do. Um, but what do you guys think here? Is Wii Sports a game that you yourself played? Is it a game that you yourself enjoyed back in the day? Do you still, you know, boot it up once in a while and play with friends just for the sake of it? Let me know in the comments down below what your memories and your thoughts on this game are. And as always, guys, whether you've enjoyed the game or not, um, hopefully I have made today entertaining. Hopefully you've laughed at my failures and enjoyed my triumphs. If that is the case, don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And uh, I will see you guys again soon with another video and another game, so don't forget to tune back in soon. Until next time, friends, you'll take care of yourselves. And uh, from the world of Wii Sports, peace.